about Spain. I think that you had a different picture last time we talked because this looks like a new one. Your Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse picture. No, no, it's the same picture as oh. as before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it an actual picture that you took at Disney World? Or is it? Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's the same picture. Um, I always uh, have the same picture uh -huh. in Google. In Google, uh, since um, since um, two two thousand eight. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> You had Google uh, since 2008. That's very impressive. I'm not sure if I had Google in 2008. So you had Google like, OK, I probably had Google in 2008. I don't know. That just seems like a really long time ago. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, because because a long time ago, I, um, I was in Berlin at, at first in Berlin. Uh, during a few a few time during a few time and then I I start um, studying in languages school and I can can be able to to do to do things at the same time mm, I see so tell me, you, it sounds like you were one of the first Verbling students. How yes. has Verbling changed over the years? It's yes, gotten yes. much bigger, like much yes. bigger. It seems like it's yes. Verbling expands every day. It changes for the better. Um, yes, and and now and now I return um, on Verbling chat again. Oh. Oh, so you are back. Is it because uh, have you graduated from school? Because you said no, you no, 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 no. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I I leave I leave the languages school uh, because uh, uh -huh. I, I suffer from I suffer from uh, illnesses that I can't uh, be able to go uh -huh. out every day. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I'm. So, oh, I hope that you are feeling better now that you can stay home and rest, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's nice to not have to get all ready to go out to go to class, right? You can. Yes. Be casual about it. Well, I hope that. Well, I am glad to hear that you are able to get the rest you need and still take class. Thank goodness for the internet, right? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, wow, this class has gotten big quite quickly. So I'm going to move to Fran. Hi, Fran. Hi. Hello. Uh, yeah. Where are you Hello. from? Well, I'm from Spain, uh, from Valencia. Valencia, OK. And yes. um, where, uh, how long have you been studying English? Uh, more or less, I think a lot of years studying English, but here in Berlin, uh, one month, more, more oh, or less. Okay, so how did you hear about Berlin? Uh, I don't remember. I think I, 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 I have a study, uh, and one day uh, making a research about different tools to Im improve my my English, I I find Berlin, and I'm very happy to, to see here now. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Um, Berlin is such a blessing. I can't even believe how good it is. So I'm glad you're here. We ex we improve. Sometimes we have glitches while we're improving, but we improve like every week. <laughs> there are new yeah. students here every week. It's really cool. Yes, because uh, for me it's difficult. Uh, the most difficult is to to speak and to and uh, listen and uh, listen to other people. And this is a <laughs> wonderful tool to 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 do this. Yeah, yeah. Speaking is so important. Good, good. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Fran. I have Adi. Hi, Adi.
Hello, Ari. Ari's still loading his microphone, I think. All right, Felipe, what's up? Everything okay? You? Yes, yes, good to see you. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Salvador, hello. Hi, Norel. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, anything new, Salvador? Mm, I can say that uh, today, uh, in this afternoon, I'm going uh, to stadium because uh, uh, there will be game uh, Milan versus Inter. It's a big match, teacher. It's an important match in Milano. Oh, that's an important match. That's awesome. Yes. Awesome in Milano. Okay. And so, uh, oh, there's a little bit of background noise with the microphone, I think. Anyway, oh, it's loud. Um, okay, it's gone. Okay. Good, good, good. Thank you, Salvadori. Well, I hope that the team that you are rooting for uh, ends up winning at this match. Very exciting. I hope, teacher. I hope. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Victor. Hello, Victor. Hi, Nora. What's up? Uh, uh, everything is all right. Everything is all right? I, yes. Okay. Anything new? Uh, uh, not special. I, I just uh, I have complete uh, to do repairing of my flat. Oh. Now I'm in flat. Yes. Oh, okay. You have uh, remodeled or repaired? What did what needed repairing? What needed repairing? Um, okay. What about Adi? Can we hear you now, Adi? Uh, hi. Oh, you Can sound you great. Know. You sound great. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, and uh, hi, uh, Ankh. Hi, Ankh. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine today. Good. It's been a couple of weeks since I've seen you. I'm glad to see you again. Yes, yes. What have you been up to? Um... Uh, Anything new? No. <laughs> Nothing much? Same ad every day. <laughs> Same every day? Oh, okay. All right, all right, cool. All right, everybody. So, hi. I'm th uh, thank you all for coming. I'm Narelle. I am an American. I am from New York. I was born and raised in New York. I now live in South Korea. I am of Chinese ancestry, by the way, but I just moved to South Korea, and I'm learning the language. I'm a very, I'm a very beginner at Korean. It's all very overwhelming, and it's very exciting. My new life is so exciting. I just got hired at um, a, a school for children, an academy for children. My new job. Um, I'll still be on Verbling too, but um, I will work a second job. It will start in uh, February or March. Um, I teach in standard American English, by the way. Um, I'm available for private one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I can help you with your resume. I can help you with your cover letter. I specialize in coaching students on um, presenting themselves in job interviews. And um, today's lesson is going to be about renting a car in English. We will go through a dialogue of a person renting a car in an English-speaking country. Please um, call out, and you can let me know by calling out, has anybody here ever rented a car in an English-speaking country? Anybody? All right, I guess everybody would be their first time if they ever rent a car in an English-speaking country. Okay, so. Who here? Um, who here drives? Does every does anybody here drive a car on a regular basis? Yes, teacher. Salvador, yeah. I drive, yeah. Every, I drive every, my car. Yeah, you, you drive a car. I know Felipe says he rides the bus. He lives uh, pretty central to Seattle. 
What about yeah. Victor? Do you drive or do you bus or take the train? Uh, I drive. I drive. Oh, you a drive too? Okay. Okay. Adi, do you drive or do you take public transportation? I ride, and but some not very often using my car. Ah, so right. okay, so uh, rarely use your car, okay. And what about Fran? Do you drive or you take public transportation? Uh, in weekdays, I I, I cycling uh, to to go and and my work. And in in weekends, yes, I I drive uh, my usually my car. That's that's wonderful. Um, I think that's so wonderful that you mostly cycle. It's really healthy too. Yes, it's very healthy. Yeah. Um, what about you, Ankh? Do you drive much? Uh, rarely. I uh, usually go with my brother. Oh, okay. Okay. You uh, do you and your brother share a flat, share a house? Share a house. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And what about Anna? Do you usually drive or do you take <coughs> Yes. Yes. I. Um, I drove. I drove. And I have my my own car, mm -hmm. and I haven't rented uh, a car. All right, sounds good. Okay, and what about Ahmed? Hi, Ahmed. Hi. Hi, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Well, where are you from? Uh, I am from Egypt. Egypt. Wow. Okay. How long have you been studying English? Uh, I studied English in the school since uh, I was a child, since uh, uh, six years old. But it's an academic English, not uh, for speaking or, uh, or like that. So now I am studying English for speaking, for life, to for work. Yeah. Oh, you study English for work. What do you do? What do you do? For uh, I am. I am a student, uh, a software engineering student. Uh, oh, a so I have to know English. I have to speak in English. Yes, yeah. all engineers have to speak in English. <laughs> yes. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So everybody, let me pull up the dialogue. I have a new dialogue for this class. We were using one. Uh, but this one is kind of cool. It's um, it's sort of meant to be kind of funny. I think it's not that. I don't know. It's 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 kind of a funny dialogue. I think, but it actually offers some really good examples of good use of the vocabulary. So that's why I, I chose it. All right. So I'm gonna have Anna and um, Anna and Ankh are gonna be the first readers. Anna is gonna be the rental car agent. Ankh is going to be uh, the customer. <clears throat> um, okay. Uh, a rental car agent. Hi. How can I help you? I'd like to lend a missai car for three days. Okay. Let me check to see if we have one available. Hmm. It doesn't look like we do. Uh, we have a couple of economy compact and full-size cars available, or a nice uh, minivan. Well, what is the main difference between these cars? Uh, the main difference is size. Uh, the economy car is the smallest, and it seats fewer passengers and can hold less luggage. Okay, how many people are with you? Just me and my son. Well, an economy car would work. Uh, we have one right out front. Where? That one? It looks more like a shoebox to me. I'm really tall and trying to squeeze into that thing. I don't think so. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so you can, um, you can stop there for now. Okay, both of you, uh, let's, let's go over some pronunciation. Anna and Ankh, please repeat after me. Mid yes. size. Mid size. Mid size. Mid size. Good. Economy. 
economy. Economy. Got it. Luggage. Luggage. Log luggage. Got it. Shoebox. 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 Good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, Ankh. I'm not Ankh. I'm sorry. Ahmed. Ahmed. What are the differences between these four kinds of cars, uh, Ahmed? Economy, compact, full size, and minivan. Yeah, the main difference is the uh, size. Uh, yeah. How much people will uh, will use that? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Um, size. How many? Morning. How many? Sorry. Good. Um, yeah. And also, economy just means also probably uh, the least expensive car, like the one with the least amount of good features. Like maybe you still have to roll the windows down. Like the windows are not electronic. Compact is going to, so economy is the cheapest, compact is the smallest, full size is going to be kind of a large sedan, and, um, and minivan is going to seat many people. So Ahmed, what kind of person would best, would most benefit from a minivan? Uh, sorry, again? What type of person uh, I think should, I it. should rent a minivan? Uh, oh yeah, uh, seven people. Seven more things. Again, what type yeah. of family? I, I didn't get that. Of... What? Uh, I didn't get that. So you see how? Do you see what a minivan is here? Can you see the minivan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, it looks yeah, big. See. So, so what type of customer? is a person that should rent a minivan? Uh, I think companies uh, or big families. Yeah, big families, exactly. In the United yeah. States here, we have almost like, it's sort of like a joke where we say like soccer moms drive minivans. It's usually like people that drive minivans usually have like three kids and they're all like school-aged and it's like the minivan is to like drive yeah. these kids to their activities and have all their yeah. friends in the car and have all of their sports gear. So there's like a culture almost around driving a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> are are yeah. minivans popular in Egypt? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what kinds of cars do most people drive in Egypt? Uh, sedan cars. Sedans, so maybe full size economy or compact cars. Okay. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, we will use uh, mini cars. Uh, oh, mini. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Is it because it's a city? Are some of the roads kind of small? Mm hmm. Uh, no, it's because of the price. Because of the price. Uh, here, the price of cars is too high. Oh, the prices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cars are very expensive in Egypt. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, next question is for Fran. Fran. Um, so he says here, it looks like a shoebox to me. What does the expression, it looks more like a shoebox, mean? It's, uh, maybe it's a car too small. It's too small, yeah. We use the word shoebox to describe things that are really small. Like um, like if you have like not a lot of money, but you, if you need to live in a very nice neighborhood because you work in that nice neighborhood, like as a teacher or something, you have to usually live in a shoebox-sized apartment. Like it's sort of yes. it's the smallest kind of apartment uh, yes. available. Um, can you use shoebox in a sentence, please, Fran? Uh, uh, repeat, please. Can you use shoebox in a sentence? In a sentence. Uh, well, the uh, the um, stadium of uh, Val Valencia uh, foot football club is uh, like as a shoebox. 
Oh, the Stadium of Valencia's football. Okay, the football club at the Stadium of Valencia is like a shoebox. Is maybe? Is correct? So, very small stadium. Yeah, well, uh, yes, it's it's a small, but uh, it's in. Uh, uh, I think in uh, four or five years, maybe it's a uh, um, building a new stadium with uh, cap capacity. I don't know is the available, oh. no? To oh yeah, yeah, I understand. So oh, so the stadium so, doesn't yes. have that many people. It's like so uh, more many, more many people. More people, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I see. I see. Very good. Yeah, the stadium of Valencia is like a shoebox. Good. Um, oh, and okay, so Adi is asking, compact, is it for a coupe? Okay, so coupe is a different word. Compact and coupe are totally different things. Like a coupe is like a two-door. Coupe is a two-door car. See how, and a, and a coupe can actually be pretty big. A lot of coupe, coupes are like uh, very nice large cars, too. Coupe is the, as a racing car, no? A coupe no? is a two-door car. Coupe is any sedan with with two doors two doors so coupe yes. is any any sedan with two doors whereas a compact car is totally different compact car is like a tiny little car tiny tiny car like these are the most compact cars very yes. small cars yes. smart the smart car yes yeah. and uh, a compact car usually has four doors though or well okay so this this is actually a, a compact coupe Oh, okay. So, so I guess some of the smallest compact cars do have two doors. But a compact car is not necessarily a coupe. And a coupe is not necessarily compact. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So um, next, uh, next re... No, okay. Wait, one more word. Uh, Adi, what does it mean to squeeze into something? To squeeze into... What does that mean? To squeeze in that thing. I'm really loud and trying to squeeze into that thing. Squeeze. I have no idea, but I think it's like um uh uh trying to, uh, to get interest with that thing. Yeah, it's like some it's like somebody who's too big for something trying to push themselves into something that's very small. To squeeze, like if you have gained weight, you might have to squeeze yourself into your pants. <laughs> Meaning that you're too big for your clothes because you've gained weight and then you have to squeeze yourself into your clothes. That's an example of squeezing something into. Like um, another example of squeeze, like you can squeeze, let's see what kinds of pictures come up. Like you can squeeze a tube of toothpaste and the uh, and toothpaste comes out. You can squeeze a lemon. Um, see, this person is squeezing a toy. Squeeze a lemon. You kind of like are pushing it into. Okay, so this cat is kind of squeezed into this box. So you sort of dig for the box. So he has squeezed into it. And this person is squeezing a tube of toothpaste. So, Adi, can you use squeeze in a sentence, please? I'm um, squeeze. Um, like I am. I'm trying to squeeze my package on I'm on the package. Ah, no, no. I'm trying to squeeze my package into my bags. Yes, that's a really good one. I'm trying to squeeze my package into my bag. That's really good. That's really good. Very, very, very nice. But okay, wonderful. Um, okay, let's move on to the rest of the dialogue here. So I have uh, Felipe and Salvadore are going to be our next readers, please. Felipe is going to be rental car agent, and Salvador is going to be customer. Um, and they're going to read from the very top to the very bottom here. Um, and just also, by the way, um, see these, see where we have like little bits of dialogue in these brackets here, that's actually the customer sort of like responding to the rental car agent in the middle of the, in the, middle of the dialogue. So um, customer, be ready to sort of chime in where there are brackets here, like this is one for example. All right, uh, Felipe and Salvadore. Okay. Um, 
Well, if you need more room or comfort, I recommend the full-size car. It also has a nice stereo system, CD player, safety rear door locks and cruise control, and power locks and windows. Well, I'm not so concerned about how it's equipped. I just want to make sure it is comfortable to drive. And what is it, the daily rate for that anyway? Well, let's see here. Oh yeah, it will come to 57.95 a day. Wow, a little expensive. But what's the cost for uh, millage? Mileage. Mileage. Hey, all of our cars have unlimited miles, but of course that doesn't include the gas. Gas. Yeah, right. I bet that the car probably eats up gas and now that we're in the middle of the vacation season, gas stations are going custom consumers with astronomical prices. Well, as they say, it comes down to the law of supply and demand. Well, anyway, can you install a car seat in one of these cars? I have a three-year-old son with me. Sure, and that, and that will only be one dollar extra per day. I'll go with the full size car. Wait, what does it look like? All right, great, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Felipe and Salvadore, let's go over some pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Excuse me. Safety rear door locks. Safety, Safety rear door locks. Rear door locks. Good. Cruise control. Cruise control. Cruise control. Good. Concern. Concern. Concerned. Good. Equipped. 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 Good, good, good. Um, great, great short eye, by the way. Um, I think that was, I think that was Felipe, really good short eye. Uh, what, uh, Salvador, I repeat one more time. Equipped. Equipped. Um, this time, when you say your short I, push your tongue down to the bottom of your mouth and have the sound come from a little bit further back in your throat. Make like almost a bigger space in your mouth um, this time when you say the short I. Not equipped, but equipped. Hear the difference? Equipped. Oh, much better. Repeat one more time. Very good. One more time. E equipped. Good, good. Do you feel how different that feels? It feels a lot different, right? Yes. Much better, much better. Good. Okay. Um, mileage. Mileage. Good. Felipe? Mileage. Mileage. Good. Unlimited. 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 Good, Felipe. Salvador, remember the short I. Try one more time. Try not to say unlimited, but say unlimited. Unlimited. Oh, so much better. So much better. Uh, yeah, and Salvador, please be mindful of short eyes. I think that makes such a big difference when it comes to your accent and being better understood, especially with some of the short words in English, for example, the words fee and fit, see and sit, um, reap and rith, you know, they're, they're all um, different words. So um, please, everybody, keep in mind, um, practice your short eyes so that they come naturally. It really makes a difference when, uh, in how well you're understood, ultimately, in English. Good. Uh, really, really, really good, Salvadore. Great. Okay. okay. Um, please repeat. Gouging. 
Gouging. Gouging. Good. Astronomical. 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 Good. All right. All right. Sounds good. Great, both of you. Okay. So, Anna, what do, what are astronomical prices? Uh, when um, a product, uh, an, a, any product is uh, very expensive. Yeah, there you go. Good. So give me an example of some of the, the, the things that are priced astronomically in Spain. Um, uh, for example, um, <laughs> well, today our prices are lower <laughs> in Spain. Oh. But... <laughs> But to to tell an example, um, 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 a big uh, house uh, located in in the suburbs uh, is astronomical. Um, uh, 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 have a astronomical price. Oh, it, it it has an astronomical, or it uh, it costs an astronomical price. It has okay. an astronomical price tag, but the price is astronomical. Good, really good. So some of those houses in those in those nice swanky neighborhoods are astronomical yes. in price. Good. Okay. Um, Ankh, gouging customers. Um, Okay, uh, please read what the definition of gouging is. Uh. Uh, to cut or scoop. Uh, well, gouging, oh, that's one definition, you're right. You're right, G like you can gouge someone's eyes out. Um, but in in this case, uh, the, here, the definition is on the screen here. I, I just highlighted the word gouging. Can you read that? Gouging. Uh. Does the definition come up? Like I'm kind of highlight. Does it turn yellow and then there's a definition okay, yeah. that appears? Make people pay a lot for something. Yeah, exactly. So that's one definition of gouging. So I can gouge your eyeballs out, meaning I'm cutting your eyes eyes out. Or you can gouge consumers by kind of like by making them pay a lot. So, uh, can you describe for me a business that often gouges consumers? Can you use gouging in a sentence? Ah. Okay, please. What? Again, please. Can you use gouging in a sentence? Uh, make new sentence, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, I think iPhone 6 is gouging my money. Who's gouging your money? iPhone 6. The iPhone, I think that the iPhone 6 is gouging my money. Oh. <laughs> good, yeah, that's a good one. Fran, is that you? Dentist? The dentist gouges consumers? I think that a lot of the times doctors in the United States gouge. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I think it's, uh, we, we must uh, pay a lot of money when when you go to the dentist mm -hmm. uh, because it's too too expensive. Yeah, I, I agree. That's a good, a great example. Yeah, gouging. Good. The iPhone 6, the dentist, the doctors, health insurance. Sometimes a lot of insurance companies. Yeah, very good. Good. Okay. Um, okay, so a couple more vocabulary questions here. Fran, what is... Cruise control. Um, here's a sentence. Um, I was driving along the highway and I didn't have to change my speed very much, so I turned on cruise control. Well, I, I think cruise cruise control is when when uh, you can uh, uh, to set up a continue uh, speed. Yes, exactly. It's a button in your car that you can hit. 
Yes, uh, a continuum or, or constant, constant uh, speed correct. for the highways, for example. Yeah, yeah, for highways, exactly. Do you use your cruise control often? <laughs> no, I don't use cruise control because my my car is very simple. Oh, oh, I see. I think the 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 best advances, electronic advances in my in my car is the automatic <laughs> windows only. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. So you may, uh, is it your car, an economy car? Um. Yes, economy, <laughs> economy car, sure. Yes, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I don't use, well, yeah, there are some places, I mean, you really have to live out in the country to use control, or to be on like a road trip somewhere, yeah, out in the rural areas, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> next question is for Adi. Adi. Um, what are power locks and windows? Power locks and windows. Uh, it is means like uh, mm, the the uh, the keys on the windows is is locked. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's part of it. So, um, for example, power locks is, are electronic. Uh, you can kind of like hit a button and then it, it, then the lock, yeah. the doors lock. Uh, windows, you just hit a button, and the windows go down and up. As opposed to sometimes they're like you have to like roll your windows up and down, like they're not powered. Um, do you have um, the last car you drove, or do you drive? I'm sorry, did you mention that you drive? Sometimes, yeah. right? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes Does your car have power locks and windows? Yeah, it has, uh, has power locks uh, for doors and for windows. Oh, very nice. Okay, good, good, good. All right, last vocabulary question is for Ahmed. Ahmed, what are safety rear door locks for? What are they for? Uh, yeah, I think it's a uh, locks uh, to the car uh, to prevent children from going out the car. Yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, yes. Does your car have safety rear door locks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have children? Uh, no, I don't have a children. I still okay. stay in the university. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, what kind of like bad kids you? Re oh, probably a lot of kids actually. I shouldn't say that, but my God, like that would that's uh that's probably something really important so your kids don't like. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember when I was young, though. I don't think I would have ever thought of trying to get out of the car when it was moving. <laughs> that was different. Yeah, every children have done that. <laughs> <laughs> every child has tried, right? Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Um, so, um, so we have Adi has a question. Can I use cruise control for talking about riding a motorcycle? Um, so Adi, uh, I'm not too familiar with r motorcycles because I am not that kind of daredevil um, myself, but is there a button that you can hit so your motorcycle just uh, goes at the same speed? Uh, yes, it, it has the uh, uh, gas, uh, not gas, it, for speed we use the, our hand to push it up and push it. Yeah, um, yeah, I would definitely uh, say then if it's, if it's if it's something automatic, like you don't have to be pushing it down the button the entire time to maintain that speed, then yes, motorcycles have cruise control also. Oh, okay. So you ride a motorcycle a lot? Yeah, I ride motorcycle every day. Oh, is it because the streets are small and so you can go faster with a motorcycle? No, it's because the traffic jam. So. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, some of the motorcyclists in South Korea are so skilled and so bold. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Okay. Um, so your car is like useless in the traffic, but the motorcycle is like like key, right? <laughs> wow. All right. Um, so let's go. Let's move on. I'm gonna have Ahmed and Adi are going to be our next readers, please. Ahmed will be customer, and Adi will be rental car agent. Oh, okay. and by the way, by the way, so, um, sorry to interrupt. So, again, see these brackets? 
So the customer is the person who's like talking. So if the customer is especially alert and can chime in on time uh, when he sees those bracketed words, that would be great. It would make this reading very dramatic. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, I I will go with the full size car. Wait. Oh, what does it look like? Ah, uh, it's right out there in the parking lot. Um, Which one? The one of for there next sidewalk. Do you mean that all the lemon with the missing half cap? Uh huh. Sure. Sure. Excuse me. We take right in our in phase of. It's just that it's one of the last car on our lot, but it runs like a dream. Don't let the exterior fool you. Hey, I give you I give you an extra fifteen dollars off the daily rate to show you we ser we are serious about seeing our customers. Will will there be any others? No, I am the only driver. Okay. Would you like to purchase our daily car for taken? What exactly? What what is that exactly? Well, the car protection plan is a complete insurance package covering damage to the visual, um, injury, injury or loss of life to or your passenger. Oh. It even includes incident, in incident tall road damage caused by, uh, let's say, a huge boulder rolling down the mountain passing your car. Oh, oh well. However, it won't cover loss of property due to theft. <clears throat> too, too much crime in the area anyway. What? Uh, wow. What about this crime? What, worry, what? Yeah. Don't worry about yeah. it. And the car protection plan is only seventeen seventeen ninety five uh per day. But you were saying And the nice the nice thing about this coverage is that you can rent the car without the worry and hassle of making a complicated claim in case you don't you don't have a problem. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. Okay, so let's go over some vocabulary, please. Um, really good, both of you. Wow, that was very, very nice. Um, okay, hubcap. Please repeat, hubcap. Hubcap. Good. Yeah. Ahmed and Adi, repeat. Or, yeah, okay. Ahmed and Adi, repeat. Runs like a dream. It runs like it a dream. It runs like a dream. Good. Exterior. 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 Good. Protection. 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 Good. Incidental. 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 Uh, um, hassle. Hassle. Good. Hassle. Good. Yeah, it's sort of like a U, like a short U. Hassle, as opposed to hassle. Um, really emphasize the first syllable. Hassle. 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 Good. Good. Okay. All right, so some vocabulary that came up. Okay, Salvadore, what does, uh, please read the definition of lemon here, old lemon. Uh, a poor quality car that is useless. Good. Uh, useless. Useless, yeah. Um, so um, please use lemon in a sentence. Mm, a poor uh, one moment, please. Sure. Uh, 
Can you repeat the, the mean of lemon, teacher? Can you... Yeah, can it's... Can see it again? Highlight it. Sure, sure, sure. So, here you go. A poor quality card. Quality card. Um, okay, I tried, teacher. I'm not sure. Uh, my... Uh, I bought uh, I, yesterday. I bought uh, a new computer, and uh, uh, when uh, I went to the shop, uh, a man told me that uh, uh, this uh, this computer it was uh, a lemon. Very good. Um, the one thing is uh, I would uh, suggest is that lemon only refers to uh, can only refer to a car. So um, it actually, for, we haven't used it for uh, for computers yet. So yeah, you can say, uh, you can just replace computer with the word car and you're great. So you can say, uh, yeah, I tried to go to the, the I, I bought a new car, um, but then I took it to the shop and then the mechanic or the car fix, person that fixes cars told me that it was a lemon. So yeah, that's really good use of the word lemon. Yeah, very nice. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, what about Adi? Why don't you use the word lemon in a sentence as well? My uncle is an old lemon. It's only take him from A to B. Oh, my uncle's car is a lemon. It only takes him from A to B, from point A to point yeah. B, and barely. So it can't drive up very steep hills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, very good. Very good. Okay. Um, Fran. Fran, um, please read the definition of like a dream. Well, uh, one moment. Uh, like a dream. Um, very well. Yeah. Um, so, it runs like a dream. That is, um, you can use like a dream for cars. You can use like a dream for... Uh, my computer runs like a dream. So like a dream is not specific to cars, but if something runs and it runs like a dream, it run the machine runs like a dream. Yes. Um, my bicycle runs like a dream. After I tuned up my bicycle, it runs like a dream. Well, and is it only an expression to uh, to uh, different uh, uh, devices, or is uh, uh, it maybe... So for for example, my my travel was like a dream. Is is it correct? This um, sentence. Oh, my travel unfolded like a dream. Um, my back my vacancies uh, was like a dream. Oh, my vacation was like a dream. Oh, you can absolutely use it that way. Absolutely, that's a great use of that term. Yeah. My vacation okay. was like a dream. Um, my graduation was like a dream, meaning that it was perfect. Any event can be like a dream, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, ah. uh, oh, wait, what, did somebody else say something? Sorry, Fran, what? Sorry, yes, I, I asked you if a lemon is possible to use without all the, for example, a lemon car, the meaning of all lemon car is the same of uh, old lemon? Oh, 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 so you don't need to use it. You don't need to say old lemon, no. So you can say that car is a lemon. It's a lemon. Um, so you, you don't need the old at all. Okay. You can just say it's a lemon. It's a lemon. I'm so disappointed. My car is a lemon. <laughs> My car is a lemon, and yeah. it's an awful car. No? It's an awful car. It's horrible. It's a lemon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, a couple more vocabulary words. Incidental. Uh, uh, um, Anna, please read the definition of incidental. Yes. <clears throat> Unplanned or unexpected. Good. So incidental road damage is like, uh, well, it's like kind of you, it's just accidental. If, you know, it all of a sudden happens. Kind of you, you kind of like you're driving along and then all of a sudden like a pebble hits your windshield and your windshield cracks. That's unplanned. That's incidental damage. Can you use incidental in a, in a sentence? Uh, but, oh, by the way, incidental does not only mean road damage. Like 
um, I had an incidental change of plans. I was usually, and usually it means a negative thing. Um, I had an incidental delay. Okay. I had an incidental um, um, accident uh, in the road. I had an incidental accident on the road. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Um, the, the thing about that, though, is um, we probably, like, accident almost means unplanned or unexpected crash. So it's sort of like incidental accident. It can be, it's not incorrect to say that, but we don't usually say that because accident already means it was incidental. Um, but grammatically, that was fine. Um, um, that's just a hint. Like, an incidental might be, like, I, I um, had an incidental, there was some incidental um, dents. There were some incidental dents in my car from being hit with rocks or something. Okay, thank you. Sure, okay. Uh, last one, um, well, okay, let, let's um, actually keep reading. I, I want... Ahmed to get a chance to read. So Ankh and Ahmed are going to read the last uh, the last bit here. So uh, Ankh will be customer and Ahmed will be rental car agent. Okay. But wouldn't my own car insurance cover these problems? It might, but each insurance policy is different. With our car protection plan, however, you deal directly with us in case there is a problem. Yeah. Well. And we have, and we handle everything quickly, and you don't have to contact your own insurance company. Okay, let me just confirm this. A full-size car was with a car seat for these for, for three days. Yeah. Plus the car protection package, is that right? That's right. Okay, I will have our mechanic Louis check the car uh, over and wall it up to the door. Put put it sorry, put it up to the door. I hope this car really lands. Well, in case it does break down on some out of the way, uh, deserted road, uh, deserted road, uh, just to call the toll free number for assistance. They will come to assist you within two business days. Two business days? Enjoy your trip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So a couple questions here. Um, Ahmed, we're going to go back. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go over some pronunciation. Sorry. So pronunciation. Insurance policy. Insurance policy. Okay. Policy, yeah. Um, this time, actually, Ahmed, narrow your mouth. Like, kind of, kind of bring, like, narrow your lips toward the midline of your face when you pronounce the P. Um, I was kind of hearing policy with a B. I would like to hear policy with a P. So uh, just yeah. clean up your P. Policy. Policy. Um, I'm still hearing policy. Do you, okay, so here, hold on one second. This is, this will be an interesting Okay, so the difference between P and B. So um, first, policy. That's that's B, versus ha, pa, b, pa, b, pa, b. Do you notice that when I say pa, pa, there's like a narrowing of my lips. Policy, yeah. policy. So you have to squeeze your lips together when you pronounce the P. Try pronouncing policy. policy. One more time. Policy. Better. Policy. Pa. Like pucker, I, I mean, curse your lips almost. Policy. Policy. Uh, better. I'm still hearing policy. 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 
policy. Mm, okay, we'll work on it. Cool. Good, good, good. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's go back to the dialogue. Um, um, okay. Insurance company. Insurance company. Assistance. Assistance. Good. Okay. Great, great, great. Okay. Last vocabulary word. Um, Ahmed, why don't you can take the last vocabulary word? Hassle. Uh, hassle. Good. Please read the definition, too. Trouble, difficulty, or bother. Good. Okay, so example sentences. It's such a hassle to have to walk in the rain. It's such a hassle when I rent a car and it doesn't work and I have to exchange it for another one. What's an example of a hassle, Ahmed? Um, uh, it, um, such a hassle when uh, my gas, my gas uh, um, run, uh, runs out. Yes, it's a hassle when we run out of gas. That is the biggest hassle on the planet, unless you're trying not to go wherever you're trying to go. So, yeah. All right, everybody, great. So that is a wrap for today. We are out of time. The, the link to the dialogue is in the box. I'm Narelle. I'm available for private one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Um, particularly, I specialize in job interview coaching, tweaking your resume so it looks good, sounds good, reads well. And um, I would recommend everybody, if you're interested in progressing quickly, Verbling is offering some discounts right now on the Serious Learner Package, I think. Serious Learner Package, and I think that you get some free tutoring sessions if you sign up as a Serious Learner. So um, feel free to contact me with any questions, and uh, check out Verbling's Serious Learner Program, and I'll see you in some future classes. Follow me on Verbling to get updates on my future classes, too. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.